Hey guys, so over the summer, I picked up a new drone, the Mini 3 Pro, brand new for me. Of course, a month later, they brought out the Mini 4 Pro, which is better in almost every conceivable way. However, I love this drone. Let me tell you why. So I've been using this Mavic Air as my primary drone since it came out. I shoot real estate, I have a small production company, and that drone has done me really well. Unfortunately, it's getting pretty old. I've hit a few trees, it's not flying straight anymore, it likes to wobble around, it got a few bulging batteries. It's time to replace it, which is exciting because, uh, hey, I, I like new gear and buying new stuff is great. But that put me into a conundrum where I wasn't sure what drone I should get. Oh. Let's find a nice good pile. Oh, it's like harder than you expect, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's almost like a shell they have. Yeah. Jude, are you going to touch the starfish? So before we came on this trip, I picked up a new drone and I was uh, going back and forth between the Mavic 3 Pro Classic versus the Mavic Mini 3 Pro. Back and forth, watched all the videos. I ended up needing to do a real estate shoot right beside an airport and it's just way easier to do that with a Mini. So I ended up having my decision made for me and I'm so glad I went with it for the biggest reason that it's so quiet. You can just sneak it up in the air. If somebody doesn't see it, they won't even know it's there. And the biggest thing that I've found when it comes to drones is the noise gives it away and then everyone freaks out. There's a drone and then they're all looking at it. And then a certain percentage of people are going to be pissed off that there's a drone even in the air. So there's just, there's unnecessary drama that comes with flying a drone that people can hear and see. So the minis, especially this Mini 3 Pro is uh, just, it hits the perfect sweet spot. So the nicest side effect of filming with such a cute little drone like this is that you end up doing it more because you're not worried about putting it in the air and what people are gonna think. You can kind of sneak it into the air, like I said, almost anywhere. And so I've been filming a lot more with it. There's just something to be said about something that is quick to pull out and quick to get in the air and it's quiet and it's not going to bug people. You just end up using it more. The transition to this Mini 3 Pro didn't come without hiccups. I actually had a few of my clips after returning from my summer vacation that were way out of focus, way too soft to be usable. And it actually had me concerned until I realized it was all my fault. All right, so I've tried to design a typical scenario where this drone has a little bit of difficulty with its autofocus. Uh, it's dark lit, contrast-based autofocus, so it does uh, sometimes lose focus a little bit. However, if you look right beside the red glowing record button, there's a, a button that says AF, and if you tap that, that switches to manual focus mode, tap again and hold, and you can switch, change your focus near and far anywhere you want it to go. So any of your focus issues now are, uh, are qualmed. Usually you want to keep it for landscapes on uh, infinity focus with uh, the mountains there. Sorry about that dog barking. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's your focus issues uh, solved. Side note, I'm actually recording the audio right now with a wireless lav mic is straight into the controller and then doing a screen record, which is also possible with this drone, which is awesome. It's what makes this smart controller so awesome. I mean, I know you can do that with your cell phone as it is, but uh, it's just another feature of the smart controller that I didn't really know about when I got it. There you go. So I would say the star for me with the Mini 3 combo that I picked up has been 
this smart controller. I've become so sick and tired of pulling out my phone to hook up controllers. Uh, you're using the battery in your phone. It's just cumbersome. You always feel like you're kind of breaking something. It doesn't connect properly. The Pro Controller is such a nice upgrade. You just pull it out, turn it on, screen's there, you're good to go. You're reducing the barrier of entry, which allows you to get the drone up in the air that much sooner. It's just so much easier to use. And it's one of those things where once you start using it, you can't go back. So one of the things I didn't like about uh, the minis, why I was going with the, the pros, the bigger ones, is because they feel so cheap, because they're so light. But honestly, I think that they're really well put together for what they are. You've heard that before in other videos. I know this is nothing new, but uh, my issues have been qualmed. Obviously, there's uh, another review to do for a later review when I've had more time with it. But for right now, initial impressions, like, great. Best decision I've made when it comes to technology in a long time. So final thoughts on this new drone? One of the best purchases I've made in the last three years for my gear kit, for sure. Just the size of it, the lower decibel readout, the picture quality, 10-bit footage, the photo options, autonomous options. Everything about it has been a level up and has reduced that bar to entry, which gets you out there filming faster which is what we all want. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on it. I'd love to know your thoughts if you have a Mini 3 Pro, if you went with the Mavic 3 Classic, if you have both, maybe you can uh, fill me in on what I'm missing out on. Put it below in the comments. And until the next video, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.